Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about whiteboard.fi. It's a digital interactive board and the cool thing about this is that it mimics that in-class environment where every student has their own whiteboard and can respond to the problems that you propose to them. And so I want to show you really quickly how this works. I've visited this site before. Again, for you to get here, you just type in whiteboard.fi. I'm going to click resume class. The thing that I like about this is that it's really simple. It doesn't ask me to create an account. It doesn't ask students to create an account or anything like that. Um, just said, do you want to make a class? I clicked yes. And now if I want students to join me here, uh, I need to provide them with this room code. And in this case, it's uh, V59. If you look down here, you can see I have three students that are in my classroom right now. And um, I'm going to toggle over to my whiteboard. So this is my whiteboard. You can see that I have a problem in here um, uh, for the students to solve. But I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the tools. There's an eraser. You have a line tool, a basic uh, rectangle tool. You can put text in. You can change colors. Um, it's really pretty basic here. But if my students are in the classroom and they see the problem I have, um, they should be, hopefully, solving it. So I'm going to go back to the class and see if we have any answers. Ah, we have three sixes. Oh, let's put a new problem in there. Um, let's try another one here. So I would clear this. And then the settings wheel, I can clear their boards for them. They can erase too, but I can clear it. So I'm going to clear their board. I'm going to give them a new problem. Uh, let's go with something a little bit more challenging. Six times nine. And if I want to monitor what's happening in the classroom there, I can kind of see. And I can see some answers coming in. And we have 54 right across the board. So you could see that this tool could be used um, in a variety of ways. You could have students drawing and explaining their, uh, their problem or doing visual representations of their work. Um, again, each of these boards is unique to the student in that um, they're doing their work individually. There's no comparison to anyone else. Um, again, if there's any issues I, with, with a student or you want to take a closer look, you can click on their board. You do get some options and some um, things you can do. If there's a student in here and they're not supposed to be here, or they're, they're just using the tool incorrectly, you can kick them out of this session. You can erase their board, just that individual's board, um, and ask them to try again or again if there was something on there that uh, was inappropriate or something like that. You do have that control. Um, hopefully... Uh, you see how this might work in a distance learning environment. I could very easily be in a Google Meet right now. I could drop the URL to whiteboard.fi into the chat and the code, and students would be up and running um, uh, fairly, fairly easily. And so a couple of things about this program. It does expire after a couple hours. The, the room expires. Or you can go to the settings wheel and close the room. So you have an option also to hide names if, if you wanted to, um, but you can clear whiteboards to close the room. So I'm going to close the room, and you can see I get this notice, whiteboard room closed, and all those students would also be exited from that classroom. Now when I look at the screen, it, does, it no longer says resume class, but I could create a new classroom if I wanted to. So... Hopefully this gives you some ideas, again, about um, building engagement in some of your online lessons. And um, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.